Hi everyone, this is Mario Lopez. I am the race director for the 12 hours of Old El Paso. So this race is going to consist of doing a 10 mile loop. You will go through different categories. It's up to you whether you want to do it solo, sing, uh, duo, co-ed, or a three or four man team. So the thing you can do is sign up. Somebody does one lap, then the next person comes in. You finish your lap and then the next person goes out. Um, there's different categories. You can do a solo single speed, solo just geared, or you can do it as a co-ed where you have a partner, dual, and then you can do it also in co-ed in a three or four man team, or you can just do an all female team or an all male team. The venue for our race is at the Bowen Ranch Roundhouse. This is where we will start the race and we will head first towards Lazy Cow. So come with me and check it out. Okay, at the 1.3 mile mark, you will continue on Lazy Cow, you will make a right turn and continue on Lazy Cow. We just finished Lazy Cow, which is one of the fastest trails around here in the 12 hour loop. So once you finish the Lazy Cow Trailhead where you can catch some people, you want, you're going to make a right at Tin Mine Road, which you're going to start climbing up Tin Mine, and we're going to climb all the way up to Polecat Alley. So we just climbed up Tin Mine Road, which is a wide road. So take advantage of gaining some places uh, during the race here. You can push yourself during that road. And once you get to Polcat Alley, you'll make a right turn. And you're at 3.3 miles. And then you're gonna follow me up this punchy climb and we'll be on Polcat Alley. So we just completed Polcat Alley. When you complete Polcat Alley, you're at 4.4 miles where you, you will make a right hand turn on Blue Moon. Blue Moon, you'll head on up, which is a really fast descent. And then it'll end up on a punchy climb and we'll start Mad Cow from there. So we just climbed up Blue Moon. We're headed to where you have a fork. We're gonna make a right at the fork. We're at almost half at the halfway point of the race course. We're gonna go into Mad Cow, Upper Mad Cow. Let's go check it out. So this is Upper Mad Cow. This is a technical section. You gotta be very careful here because it's sketchy. Remember, there's no shame in walking here. So if you need to walk, go ahead. You got plenty of laps to do. So let's be safe. So we just finished Upper Mad Cow. Now we're gonna head to Lower Mad Cow. We are exactly at the half mile point of the race course. This section that's coming up, Lower Mad Cow, is the fastest, I mean, lightning fast descent. So let's haul our booty through here and go to the roundhouse.
So we just flew down the lower mad cow descent. Now we came back to the roundhouse. Here on the roundhouse, we're at about just about seven miles. We're gonna make a left towards Spotted Cow and then we're gonna head to the ponding area. Let's keep going. So we just finished Spotted Cow Trail, which is a little hill. Now we're coming up to Tu Madre right down here. This is Tu Madre, it's a little techie area, so you'll have to punch it through it. We're gonna go to the ponding area and we're gonna make a quick ride towards the start of Goon's Loop. We just came out of the ponding area. We're headed to Goon's Loop. Goon's Loop are exactly eight miles, so two miles from the finish line. It's a beautiful loop that you can really go flow through it, and then we'll head back towards the roundhouse. So keep on trucking. We just finished Goon's Loop, which was a really fun loop. It's flowy, it's fast, it has a little bit of uphill. We come out into the Jeep Road, as you can see, and it's a sprint towards the roundhouse again, and you finish up your lap right there. So let me sprint to the end and get a fast time on my ra race lap. It was our 12 hours of Old El Paso race course. Okay, it's a 10 mile loop. I want to thank uh, Rudolph Automotive for presenting this race and making this happen. I also want to thank Podium Finish for supplying the water bottles and being a great sponsor. And uh, of course, Happy's is going to provide the beer for everybody during the race. And come on out because it's going to be so much fun. It is the most fun you'll have on a mountain bike here in Texas. And remember, it's a mountain bike gathering. It's a great community event. So come on out here, have some fun, make new friends, and of course, ride your mountain bike.